Australian Mathematics Curriculum, Map Scale and Simple Conversion Scale. On a map, we have a, a scale so we can find out what the real distance is by looking at the map. The scale might be written in a simple conversion scale where one centimeter, we're told, represents a hundred meters in real life. The scale is always set out with the map value first compared to the real life RL value second. So this one here it's just a simple conversion scale. If we measured the distance from the tree to the treasure on the map as two centimeters, we can see that one centimeter is a hundred meters, so obviously the distance in real life from the tree to the treasure is two hundred meters. Some maps, however, give us a scale still map to real life as a ratio, usually one to a number, such as in this case, 10,000. What that says is any one of any unit on the map is equal to 10,000 of that unit in real life. So one centimeter on the map equals 10,000 centimeters in real life. One millimeter on the map, 10,000 millimeters in real life. We can convert between simple conversion scale, like this one here, to a normal map scale. The way we do it, always remind ourselves that this is map to real life. Convert one of the units so that both the units are the same. If this one's already done at one, which it will be, Convert this one over here. So we've got one centimeter, and I've got to convert 500 meters to centimeters. There's 100 centimeters in a meter, so I multiply by 100. Add two zeros. One centimeter on the map is 50,000 centimeters in real life. Should have made this marking for a ratio. Get rid of the units, and now I have 1 to 50,000. We got back to a map scale. This scale says 1 of any unit on the map equals 50,000 of that unit in real life. We can convert from map scale back to a simple conversion scale, which is often easier to deal with. Here we've got a ratio. We remember we still map to real life. Put units in. Pick centimeters. One centimeter gives us 125,000 centimeters in real life. Now that's a nice easy conversion in some ways. But no one gives a distance as 125,000 centimeters. So let's leave this as one centimeter and convert this number here to something a bit more useful in real life, like kilometers. If we want to convert centimeters to kilometers, divide by 100 centimeters to meters, so we'd have 12,000, sorry. 1,250 meters, and let's go from meters to kilometers, divide by another thousand. We've got 1.25 kilometers. So you know that any centimeter on that map is 1.25 kilometers in real life. So we can convert back and forth from map scale to simple conversion scale, depending on which one is most useful to us.